In many parts of the world, education is a beacon of hope, a pathway out of poverty, and a fundamental human right. Yet, for countless girls in rural communities, this light remains out of reach. We visited Marike in January 2023. Marike is a rural community within Dampata local government area of Kano State, Nigeria. This community and its environs rely primarily on agriculture and small-scale trading for its livelihood. However, Marike faces significant challenges ranging from education, health system, and lack of basic amenities like good roads and safe drinking water. In Marike, like many other communities within Dumbata, such as Bekawa, Gwenda, Saba, and other rural communities in Kanu State, the hope for a brighter future is dimmed by a severe shortage of teachers in the community school, negligence on the part of their parents and the community, and the unavailability of learning resources to encourage children. With a growing population in the community, the school in Marike faces a very low enrollment rate and a high basic school dropout rate. This is a cause for worry. Akwai abubuwa da yawa wanda muka gani na ci gaba kuma mun samu dan cikashi da yawa wanda ya kawo mana a rashin a ci gaba makarantar a cikin abubuwan da muka gani na ci gaba shine makarantar nan an yi kokari a maida ita senior domin yaran idan suka gama junior secondary school ba sa samun damar tafiya su je su ƙara sa senior secondary school don su wanda ta yi nisa tsakanin su da garin da makarantar wannan junior take zuwa inda senior secondary school take sino din nan ana magana mata 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 gaskiyar magana mun kauye har yanzu muna cewa wai mata ba za su yi boko ba tun farko aka tsorata mana da boko na mata saboda an ce idan mace ta yi primary ta yi secondary dole sai an kyale ta ta yi gaba to mu kuma inda ta samu shekara 14 13 The impact of this shortage is most acutely felt by girls. When we visited in 2023, the enrollment stood at a total of 50 students with about 34 male and 16 female students. But by May 2024, it declined by over 60% with a total of 20 enrolled students, 15 boys and only 5 were girls. This marked a stark decline from the previous year. At the time we visited, the primary school section was completely closed as a result of the low turnout of students. Without an education, girls face a future filled with limited opportunities and unfulfilled potential. Sunana Abiga, ya karata biya na biya na zuwa makaranta. Idan ba na zuwa makaranta, ina sarfi, ina wakin ta ina nan nan. Many children in the community just like Abida haven't attended school for a long time or have never been to school despite there being one in the community. These girls represent the silent crisis affecting millions worldwide. Their stories echo the frustrations and desires of many more in different communities. To amma mun samu cikashi na rashin malamai. Dukkan mu mu bi ne daga ni sai mataimaki na. Wanda ba zai yi ba riƙe junior din ma da kyar muke a hakan. Yara za su zo su cika makaranta a wancan lokaci amma malami daga daga principal sai 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 ni a master mataimakin sa wayannan su su kadai 
suma fasin suke idan wannan ya zo a wannan gurana wacce rana sai wannan zo dan karaba makarantar ba komai rishin malaman da zamu rike makarantar sosai yana daya daga ciki sannan da rishin wayewar kan su san me muhimmancin ilimi ma yana daya daga ciki kuma wanda yake kawo dalilan rashin dalibai sosai a makaranta ba mu da malamai isassu kuma kasali mu wasu suna kawo ƙarfin mata da ba a zuba su masu suna hangen kada a san su daga cikin makarantar nan su isa aure kuma a ce musu ba za a fitar da su ba su su aure saboda mu mun riga mun samu haka to amma mu kamo yanzu muna da bincikin cikin a ce ba mu da dalibai kamar matan ma ba mu da yarin yadda za a ce wace yake ta gama secondary anan marke marke mu hutar nan kuma ka ga muna da baki cikin haka babu wani abin da zai taso a ce mu kawo mace guda daya ko da yan siyasa nan ka ga suna neman wani abu ya taso a ce mu kawo muna mu kawo yarinya ko da guda daya ce a dauka da mu saboda ba mu da shi muna kallo shi dai a ji ko cikin dan bacca ko fagola ko kora ji a dauka amma mu nan babu this lack of education for girls not only affects their individual futures but also has a broader implications for the community and society at large daga ciki yanzu kaga akwai gurare kamar misali inda kuka je market din nan to garin marke gare makaranta ce an yi ta 1976 amma ina ga ma ba wanda aka ce a ce a takaice mutum goma ko zuwa abin da ya makamace haka yau sun gama ko sun tafi ko college of education ko ko sun je jami'a shi ma karatun da suke anan ta kura su aiki sai malamai sun ta kura su kullum malami in ya je wannan makarantu sai ya je gidajen iyayen yaran nan ya fito da su tukwane amma ra'ayin kansu ba su makaranta ba matsalar da bake samu ta iyayen yara kin zuwa makarantar yara to akwai rashin sha'awa ga iyaye wajen har yanzu har kai ilimin nan namu na from na ilimi na boko ya ga yana musu ba su fuskance ba hayin su saboda haka akwai rashin wayewar kai ga wannan iyaye wanda ba suna suna kin tura yara su zuwa makaranta yaro da yayinya da ta gama primary schools in ta gama da kyarma to bara ta ci gaba daga primary school ba sai dai kawai ta zauna ko iyayenta sai ma ta ne musu tane musu talla in kamar lokaci ne ma kamar yanda yana ganci na gona haka mangoro za ga yara kawai gona suke tafiya ko suna tallan mangoro suna kawo nan cikin garin dan bata bi yarinya an ka tambaye ta tare kin fa makaranta ta ce eh to na fara amma kuma daga karshe na dena na farko wannan tallar ba tarbiya zai koyar mata ba lalacewar tarbiya yawancin su a kashi 10 gaskiya kashi 9 rajin da wuya mutun ya tsallake kuma wannan wanshi ba wani abu ke faruwa ba mushi aka sayi wasu iyayen akwai rashin karmin karfi na daukan da waine yara zuwa wannan makarantu da za su yi na gaba da primary iya magana ta gaskiya ilimi a kauye muna rauni da shi akan babu matsalar kudi da matsalar dan abin da zamu yi harkokin ilimi shine yake damu mu mu ma muna son ilimi mutanen karkara amma abin da yake tabarbare mana gaskiyar magana rashin malamai a makarantu malaman kuma sukan sha wahala matuka zuwa wajen halarta wannan matuka makaranta ka zo primary din mu ko secondary din mu ta kauyen mu cikin garin marke primary din ma gaba daya malamai kwaya bi ne to kwaya biyu ya za kai sun zo daga wani gari nesa domin daga nan akwai wanda za a je ya malami zai kaman kilomita 4 zuwa 5 ma zuwa 6 ma kafin ya je wannan makaranta amma kai duba da wannan lokaci malamai har da haka suna zuwa amma gaskiya suna dan shan wahala sosai wajen zuwa an biya musu kudin mota sun biya kudin abin hawa sama da naira dubu su zo naira dubu su koma ba za su zo ba sai goma yaro ya je tun karfe 8 tara ya ga ba kowa ya tawo gida ka zo ka tambaye yaro ka je makaranta ya ce ya je bai ga kowa ba ka zo ka kama yaron ka da fada ya rantse ya je ya sake rantse ya je kai kuma ka je ka ga malaman ka dauke ka je ka kai sha biyu shi ko malamin tun ya salame shi ya tawo gida ka tambaye shi me aka koya ma ya ce wallahi mu ba ma mu shiga aji ba malan ya tafi yau kai haka gobe kai haka mu kuma mutanen karkara ban mu da zurfin ilimin da zamu tsaya mu karanci wannan abu 
shine yake sa gaba daya sai mu ce ai yaron bai tafi makaranta ai ilimin ya tafi bari ilimin ya tafi bari akwai kamar misali lokacin damuna din da muke zo muke ciki yara da dama ma ba sa sa saboda da rashin gini da babu wanda suke da interest ma zuwa to daga cewa babu wannan gini da zasu yara za su samu su zauna wanda za su fuskanci zauna su karatu Several conversations with parents and community members provided deeper insight into the issues. They recounted the decline of the education system in their community. Despite their desire for their children to be in school, little has been done to make this dream a reality. This decline has impacted many other aspects of their lives. For instance, the community bath attendant who has been overseeing deliveries for over 40 years cannot retire because there are no local midwives and the only healthcare facility is completely dilapidated. Ba mu da yan makarantu wanda zasu karantar mana da mata. Babu, in an sa yara ma a makaranta suka je, ba sa ba sa samu alawul din wanda za ya koya musu. Ba mu da su. Shekara ta 41 tun ina yanya nake ungo zanci haihuwa idan an mana wallahi ba mu da motar da zamu kai yaya asibiti mai ciki asibiti amalan ke muke dauka ba mu da hanya hanyar da za a zo a shigo ma a shigo garin namu ma tana da matsala ba mu da hanya ba mu da ruwan sha ga garin namu ko ina kwatoci da layika da sun lalace kuma babban gari kuma wallahi dukkan karan nan asa dan bata babu kasa irin marken lalle wallahi ba wacce ta fi ta yawa marken lalle amma ba mu da matar da za ta duba mana mace mace in ta hawo na guda babu ita sai dole mun je kemun ne ina ruwan tsa ne mun je mun dauko dan asibiti an kawo a duba mana mace mai jego a daki in ta kama akai ta asibitin mijin yarinya ya rasa yadda zai to ba ha yan tallafi sai dai mu sami keken shanu a saka mana mace mai ciki mu kai ta idan ba a kai ƴaƴan makaranta ba matan ai ka gani a sara ta mu ce amma yanzu inda da kaman malama ko da guda ɗaya ce ai za ta yi mana higa da fice to ba mu ba mu da ilimin ƴaƴa mata kwata kwata ba mu da ilimin ƴaƴa mata babu su to dai dai da folio ba mata da za a iya dauka anan saboda ba mai ilimi babu sai dai in mata kasar za a tafi aje a dauko ta a rinka ba za a yi wa ƴaƴan mu ba ba za a yi wa ƴaƴan mu ba to ba mu da su inda da ilimin ka ji an hana yadda ake turo maza malamai a ringa turo mana mace koya take mace malama wacce za ta ringa bi tana kula da mata na boko yadda idan aka koya wa mace aka koya namiji namiji ya koya mace ita ma mace akwai wacce za ta ringa tarbiyar da ya mace tana koya mata yadda zamu ji dadi su ma malaman a ara musu kudi abinda ake biyan malami wallahi bai ishe shi bai ya ci da gidansa ya sha da gidansa ya zo ya kudin abin hawa ya tafi kauye ya je ya koyar wallahi yayi kadan harkar sana'ar fawa nake ba koyarwa nake ba ba wani abu gare ni ba da zan abun nan ni mahauci ne ina harkar nama ina harkar fawa amman sai ka ga malamin makaranta ba ma na primary ba na secondary ma kansa ya zo zai kaman maula a gurin mu me yake kawo haka Lack of teachers in the school seems to be the pioneer issue for the enrollment and poor attendance of the school in Mariki. But there are other underlying issues. Sunana Aisha, abin da yasa na dai na zuwa makaranta ba na fashin ta karatun da ake fada. Talla nake yi a gida, amma yanzu idan an kawo wasu malaman ina so in koma. Malaman ne wannan otin ba sa zuwa. Mu da yarin makarantar ma da aka kawo kwana na. da an kakkarya su yara ne ma suke higa cikin makarantar suna yin wasa daga cikin wasa suna yin kahi a cikin makarantar kuma makarantar ai hai hai suna higa shi ne ma yasa dubba a kokarin zuwa makarantar education is a catalyst for change and its absence is a profound loss the principal pointed out that many basic facilities are not being used as they should be There are also special school buildings but some are not functional. The principal said they can't ask for any improvements because these facilities are barely used and there aren't enough teachers to make sure they are used and maintained properly. 
with the number of out-of-school children in Kanu State reaching 989,234, the Kanu State Government declared a state of emergency on education on Saturday, 8th of June, 2024. The objective of declaring a state of emergency on education is encapsulated in our overall vision for the education delivery in the state as articulated in the following vision statement. Some of the commitments included employing at least 1,000 academic and non-academic staff in the state's tertiary institutions, hiring an additional 10,000 teachers, screening and offering full-time jobs to over 5,632 Bezda teachers, providing one meal per day for primary school pupils, reintroducing free uniforms for all primary one students, distributing 300 million naira in soft loans to primary school teachers, and launching a shuttle initiative for girls education using 70 high capacity buses. The question now is, how can we hold the government accountable and ensure these promises reach communities like Muriki and other rural areas across the state, thereby increasing enrollment and retention rates, especially for girls' education? As someone once said, education for all is the responsibility of all. All hands must be on deck to ensure girls' education. We all have a commitment to make, either by supporting one girl or as many as possible. It is time to ask ourselves, what commitments are we making towards securing the future of young girls by promoting their education?